These people who want to restrict my gun right, I want to say to them, how dare you take away my ability, my right to, to protect not only myself, but my son, my family, my home. I think uh, Americans need to stand up for their, for their rights, and if we don't stand up, we'll lose them. A fight for freedom and truth had triumphed. Al Gore was defeated. A defeat President Clinton sorely conceded was because of you, the members of the NRA. You've got to give it to them. They've done a good job. They, they probably had more to do with anyone else than the fact we didn't win the House this time. And they hurt Al Gore. The NRA beat him in Arkansas. The NRA and Ralph Nader right, stand right behind the Supreme Court and their ability to claim that they put George Bush in the White House. I mean, the NRA had enough votes in in New Hampshire, in Arkansas, maybe in Tennessee, and in Missouri, right, to beat us, and they nearly whipped us two or three other places. They and they worked in good. A true victory for the NRA, and because 20 members of Congress were ousted, and because President Clinton's anti-gun agenda had been destroyed, and Al Gore had been defeated, the politics of Washington D.C. have been turned upside down. Politicians and the media were no longer able, and frankly, many of them were no longer willing to stand behind the lie. And when CNN tried, it got slammed down hard by the NRA's Wayne LaPierre. Wow. CNN staged a fake demonstration with Broward County, Florida Sheriff Ken Jenny using an AK-47 machine gun claiming it was on the list of banned semi-autos. That's right. It's an old Chinese AK-47 that has been banned. And that is one of the banned that's, weapons, that's, the 19 currently banned that, weapons. Weapons. Now this is automatic. Wow. Not true. Machine guns have effectively been banned by the National Firearms Act of 1934. But this demonstration wasn't about facts. It was about convincing viewers to keep the 1994 ban on the books. A pretty powerful demonstration of the firepower of these weapons. No doubt it puts it in perspective. Our John Zarella, great report. But CNN didn't get away with it. Within hours, the NRA's Wayne LaPierre exposed CNN's lies for what they were. Your reporter faked that story yesterday. It deliberately misread right, the gonna, viewer. There's no way. There's no way it could be true. And I we're, challenge we're, CNN to defend it. Well, we're not going to continue this interview because our our reporter did not. Fake, because you don't want be, the truth. Right. The truth matters. We the public needs to hear the truth. And the truth is, every police officer on the street knows it. There's not a dime worth of difference between the guns on the ban list and the guns off the ban list in terms of their performance characteristics and I challenge CNN again to defend that story to its views or viewers because it's not true. What do you say All to day them? yesterday you what? misled the viewer. What you CNN was faced with a media nightmare. Either stand behind the story and perpetuate the lie or come clean. And that's exactly what Wayne LaPierre forced them to do. Another sea change moment with the media, because that's when the attempt to show the semi-automatic firearm as a fully automatic spray-firing machine gun stopped. Here's the correction CNN aired three days later. On this program on Thursday of last week, we aired a live demonstration CNN set up with law enforcement officials of a banned semi-automatic rifle and its legal counterpart. We reviewed that demonstration and one on another CNN program and decided that a more detailed report would better explain this complex issue. Here's CNN's John Zarella. This is a semi-automatic firearm. It instantly self-loads and fires one bullet for each trigger pull. CNN found another sheriff, Gary No, a retired 30-year police officer and assistant chief in Oakland Park, Florida, to set the record straight. It's exactly the same gun. And the same firepower. Same firepower, same bullet. Uh, you have to squeeze the trigger once to make a bullet go down the barrel. The truth about a gun ban that's been a loser from the start. It was a political soundbite um, meant to make people feel good. In fact, I think it was a hollow promise. Well, the assault weapons ban has been useless. 
A crime-fighting fraud that finally died a long overdue death. And that's because the staff at the NRA's Institute for Legislative Action, led by Chief Lobbyist Chris Cox, worked the halls of Congress and the media, making sure the ban wasn't extended and wasn't expanded. You know, the reality is this law has been a failure. You know, it's, it's nothing more than a symbolic measure that's had no impact on crime. And despite what the chief says, every legitimate law enforcement study has shown that this has had no impact whatsoever on reducing crime. And despite the mass hysteria coming from our opponents, you know, these guns were rarely used in crime before the ban. They've rarely been used in crime at, during the ban, and they'll rarely be used in crime after the ban. So You're hearing a lot you... of rhetoric, Frederica. But the anti-gun network is still embracing the ban, refusing to admit it's a failed experiment. This ban has proven its success at getting dangerous guns out of the hands of violent people. It should be renewed without a doubt. We are not going away. We will be back next year and the following year and the following year. They'll be back because in the end what this really is all about is denying you your firearm freedom by systematically banning one class of firearms at a time. They're going to keep chipping away, but you know, it's very rare that you win back rights that have once been lost. But we did it this time, and I think that signals something very important that people cannot be denied.